Whilst as a service, we offer support for residents to achieve better and to be the best version of themselves. We really want to do that for staff as well. We want to offer opportunities for the staff that maybe they haven't had or haven't thought about. So apprenticeships is the way. Before I was an apprentice, I was a stay-at-home mum. I left school really early. After my son started um, full-time school, I started a new job working for Dipper. And then I got the opportunity to start my apprenticeship, which it was only, I think, a year ago now, and I've loved it ever since. Nicola has been one of the staff that didn't really understand how much she had to offer and the apprenticeship has opened that for her. And I can see the change in her. The confidence has grown, the ability to communicate, the ability to take on a little bit more. I want to actually f carry on with an apprenticeship because I can go up to the next few levels and hopefully I can carry on with my learning experience and keep going forward and hopefully one day get a degree and... Apprenticeships are really important, especially in health and social care because People need experience in the area of working first. Well, having the support of the LPC means that I was able to offer apprenticeships across the board to all of my staff. Without that support, we probably wouldn't have been able to offer the apprenticeship to uh, all the staff, which would have been a real shame because it's made a huge difference. I didn't know anything about the levy transfer before working with the LPC. And uh, this has been one of the, the positive things that I've been able to learn that there is help and support out there for small businesses, specifically in health and social care. If other businesses are thinking of taking apprenticeships, this is the way to go. I would definitely recommend becoming an apprentice, 100%.